I quit my nine to five and then boom, I got a six figure business. What's up guys, Shoshana Trends here. I am back with another YouTube video. Today's video is going to be how I quit my nine to five and open up a six figure business. Uh, before we get started in the video, make sure you do what? Make sure you like, subscribe, make sure you tell your friends to tell their friends and we can all be friends. And let's start the video. I'm just gonna have some wine and just talk to y'all. I quit my nine to five and then boom, I got a six figure business. Eh, wrong. I know that's how a lot of people see it or we click on these videos or we watch all these stories and we're like, oh my gosh, they're rich and they just blew up. That's not the fairy tale story you're gonna get here. So if that's what you were looking for, go ahead and click off because that's just not what happened with your girl. But literally it was just hard work and dedication. So without further ado, I'm gonna really tell y'all what I did. So I was 16, 15, 16 when I got my first job. This is kind of distracting. Distracting. I was 15, 16 when I got my first job at Babies R Us, Toys R Us, and all I knew was work, 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 work. My mom was a workaholic and that's all she did. I mean, I watched my mom hustle, but she worked. She had her own hair salon, and I just seen her work, 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 work. So as soon as I got 15, 16, I automatically had responsibilities. I was helping my mom pay bills. Like, I was driving my little brother back and forth to daycare, leaving school, get to work. So I just worked my butt off, okay? And I already used to, like, kind of sell jewelry. That's how this, this channel got started, Trishana's Trends Jewelry. It's a whole different story. This isn't about my story. This is about how I quit my nine to five. Um, and I literally got a job at Toys R Us, Babies R Us. Then I got a second job um, working at Office Max. And then I still would do other little stuff like do hair on the side. And I tried to start an online boutique. So I was doing stuff like that, okay? But I had all these jobs. So here I am, 16. And I was just working, 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 working. And I don't know why I just felt so drained. So I was going to school. I couldn't decide if I wanted to go to college or not. And yet here I am still going to work, picking up second jobs, picking up extra shifts. Then I even found a higher paying job. So I just really got caught up in like, ooh, good paycheck, extra hours, nine to five, go to work early, get off early so I could work on my online boutique that I was starting. And I was here, I was 16, 17 at this time. I'm just like, ooh, I'm so ready to, to keep going, make money, make money, make money. But after a while, I started realizing that my job became a burden as I felt like I was ready to be an entrepreneur. And if this is where some of you guys are, this is the video for you, okay? So, like I said, I was working all these jobs at 16, 17. I know y'all probably like, baby, you was only 16, 17. We 40 and we doing it right great that's why you clicked on this because we're not doing that anymore um i had that job i had jobs literally for years and then i started working at american red cross and then i started working with insurance and i was tired you guys i felt too creative too i had too much on my mind every time i was at work at my little cubicle i was just working on what can i be doing with my business again like i said i had online boutiques i'm like what can i be doing how do i do this how do i do a domain name like i was looking at all this stuff and I became so tired and I just start seeing stuff differently. Like I'm seeing like, wow, all these people working at this company. I wonder who the owner is. I know the owner has money and I just, the founder, just start thinking of all these things. I'm like, if they can do it, why can I? I start seeing people at work come in with Michael Kors bags. And I don't know, my focus was just so off, you guys. I became so like depressed. Like I cannot do this anymore. I want out. And so many of us are so stuck in that race of i need to check i need security i need to check i need security and those checks are literally the opposite of security okay you guys but living paycheck to paycheck or whatever this is the opposite of stability let's start there um so i just start realizing how different i was like i just was not here for the jobs at all so i went from working at babies R Us and office max to then working at american red cross because i think at the time i was working my the the pay rate was like 725 or something like that so i was making like 785 then i made 826 and i got a raise and then i seen a job hiring for ten dollars i took that job and still kept my part-time job mind you i'm only 16 or mind you i'm only like 17. so at 17 i started working for the american red cross i got my own apartment and i'm literally trying to work I was working I think I never had an actual full-time job from the jump because I always had side hustles like doing hair and sewing clothes I used to literally sew like skirts and stuff for my great-grandmother and her friends and people at the church so I was making money doing that and I was doing hair on the side so I had these little side hustles where I would work enough to pay my rent and to pay for like you know my cable and groceries and stuff like that and 
I still became so tired of it. Waking up every morning at 8 o'clock, I would work from 8 30 to 12 30 like I said I would get addicted to those checks sometimes I'm like let me pick up some extra hours or you know holiday pay I would do stuff like that but I'm still felt so drained and unfulfilled you know I knew there was something I wanted to do but I didn't know what it was and if you're feeling like this keep watching because so many times we feel like we have all these other purposes and people are like well you work your job to support your dream but that is the furthest from the truth you guys once we crack that habit of I need a paycheck I need a paycheck I need a paycheck literally it's like hypnotizing like I need a paycheck I need a paycheck I need a paycheck no there's so many people who don't even have kids who are working to pay rent pay their car note pay their phone bill buy food for their dog like if you don't even have kids what are you working for there's so many um cultures who keep their kids in their house so they graduate college that's like that's like a five to seven year thing why can't we be the same way so literally if you don't even have responsibilities what are you working for just to keep making more bills for yourself like that type of stuff is like a mindset so i quit my first job and moved on to my second job with insurance and i didn't know anything about insurance i played the system i talk my i could talk my way to any job i could talk my way literally that's how sharp i am i could talk my way through any job and I got the job with insurance. On the on the application, it said you had to have a um, degree. I never went to college. I never stepped foot into college. Never will. Um, I talked my way into it. I'm like, I'm about to get this job, blah, blah, blah. I got the job, and he started realizing I was all bullshit. Like, I didn't know anything about insurance. And he probably let me lollygag and doodle and work on my own business from the desk for maybe a month. Then he started catching on that I really didn't know anything about insurance. And he also started catching on I didn't care. He paid for me to get my insurance license. And I think I failed the test and never practiced. So I already knew he was going to fire me, which he did. Um, I just wanted to collect another $700 check, which he didn't give me. He gave me like half of it of severance pay. And I was crying. I was like going like, mom, my rent is due. What am I going to do? And I literally, it was so dramatic, you guys. It was raining outside. I put on my um, flats. I put on this one outfit I use for every interview because I felt like it was my good luck outfit. These plaid flats. They're gray with red and black stripes. These black slacks, a white button up with a red cardigan. That was my interview outfit, you guys. Every time I went to a job interview, that's what I wore and I always got the job. I put on my little cardigan in the rain and I went door to door, all hospital as a receptionist, nursing home, everything. Can I be a receptionist here? Blah, 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 blah. I talked to the hiring manager, HR, like I was doing all this stuff and I was calling my mom like, mom, what am I going to do? I only have $300 to my name and my rent is due. My rent was like $5.95. She was like, Trisha, if you don't take your butt in this house and if you don't get out of that mindset right now she was like you already have a business because i had told you i was starting my online boutique and she was like you know how to make a you know how to make a dollar you know how to do hair you know how to sew if you don't go focus on all that stuff and use that same energy you're doing right here right now and take that and run with it for your own boutique you will not go anywhere put that same energy into yourself that you put in a crowd on these people's doorstep and i was like you're right you're so right. So I went home, I sucked up my tears, I looked up unemployment, I got my little $160 a week for my unemployment checks. Um, I went online and I started Googling how to get more sales. I ran some Facebook ads that day or some Google ads that day. I literally got three sales that same day from my online boutique and made like another $120 from those sales. I posted that I was gonna do some um, sew-ins for 50 <laughs> I was desperate for $50. So I um, did three sew-ins for $50 probably that next day. Um, so what was that? Like one or like 270, something like that. And I just got enough money literally to make my rent. And from there, I got out of the mindset of, okay, I don't have a job anymore. So now I have to just hustle. And I watched a video from Shameless Maya and she was like, hustle like the rent is due, boo. And ever since you guys, that has been my mentality. No, I didn't get a six-figure company the day I quit. It took me, when was that? I was 19, I'm 25 now. It took me some time, but now I do have a six-figure company, but I'm gonna tell you why I got it. Because I, from that day on, I never went into having a job. Like, yeah, you're gonna have, you're, if you have kids and all that stuff, I get it, security, but no. Run those credit cards up, have a plan first, but run those credit cards up, 
literally that same energy you're putting into your job to make it and survive it's okay to come off your high horse it's okay to sell your car and get a cheaper car it's okay to get rid of car payments it's okay to tell your kids baby wait on those jordans okay it's until it's okay to tell yourself wait on that manicure and that pedic i didn't start getting my nails done until my company opened okay i was not doing that like i said i figured out how to do my own hair a long time ago so i was doing my own hair you can quit your job but you also have to quit some of your habits but which one do you want more your habits your job or your growth or your success quit some of those expensive habits quit a lot of you guys like literally having a job is fake <sighs> i'm out of breath because i'm just like <laughs> but that's pretty much how i quit my job i just literally if you get tired of it enough you're gonna figure out people you guys are probably like well you don't have any kids and blah 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 it don't matter i moved into my that's another thing i quit when i finally quit my job i had my apartment my boyfriend was living there he was helping pay half the rent he didn't understand why i quit my job he was not supportive at all with me quitting my job he was like are you serious like what is wrong with you um he told me if i quit my job he was gonna stop helping pay the rent so of course we broke up kicked him out um and then i got a loan for five this is so crazy you guys i took out a loan for five thousand dollars because my credit was still good and I could either have took that $5,000, oh, I'm going to cry. I could have took that $5,000 and paid my rent to stay in that apartment. I didn't think I was going to cry. To stay in that apartment or I could have took that money, moved in my mom's house, redid my old bedroom and invested myself. And I took the $5,000, said see you later to my apartment, moved into my mom's house and I bought a new camera i invested in a ring light and i started making more videos and i started make, getting better product in my boutique and that's literally what i did for a long time i mean i wasn't making a lot of money i was breaking even most of the times because i still didn't really know what i was doing um but it was allowing me to travel and as i was traveling i was networking and putting myself in the right places to meet the right people and i started seeing what they did and when i was traveling is when i tried road ice cream and here i am later with Mixon's rolled ice cream shop. So, and now it's a six figure company. We hit six, six figures in 60 days. Um, so it was huge, but literally anything you're doing, if, if you quit your job tomorrow and you blow up and hit a million dollars with your business the next day, kudos to you, that is the dream. But if you don't, that doesn't mean you failed. That doesn't mean you should go back to work. That just simply means you have to hustle like the rent is due. That's it. Learn, uh, find out new ways to make money. There's so many ways to make money out here besides getting a job. That's ultimately going to allow you to make money and still pay your bills. But don't be out here just living and creating bills just to be out here living and creating bills, okay? If you don't need a nice car and a $300 car payment, get rid of the car. If your kids don't need Jordans right now, get them out of Jordans. Get them a shirt, cut it up, make it look nice. You know, it's the new millennium. Them kids can rock anything nowadays. You do not have to be out here trying to keep up with the Joneses and the Coneses, like my dad would say. Don't be out here trying to keep up with the Joneses and the Coneses, okay? So, if you want to know if you should quit your job, quit your job. If you want your job to support your business, quit your job. The more time that time is more valuable than money okay you need the time to put into your business not the other way around put that time into your business find an investor all that stuff the time that you have you're you're slowing yourself down working at a job and trying to come home and give yourself 30 percent into your business it's not worth it <sighs> my voice is gone because i'm up here crying and carrying on being a cry baby i'm a big cry baby but it's not worth it so quit your job your kids will understand if you got kids and you can still move in your mama house move back in your mama house so that's pretty much my story like i said you don't need anything in this life that you have you don't need your job you don't need your car you don't need the material things right now you just need yourself believe in yourself your focus your drive and to just have a dream and a goal and you go for it that's when you are ready to quit your job and that's how you can quit your job when you are ready to really kill that mindset of a paycheck checks in rotation i need to keep up with my bills no you're creating bills you don't need to keep up with them you need to stop creating them so when you can put all that into your mind then you'll be ready to quit your job and never look back um and that's just what i want to do i just want to share with you guys like i said i quit my job in 19 here i am um 25 and not only do i have the six-figure company i'm working on real estate putting out content on youtube for you guys still um 
and just growing myself and just to continue to pour into you guys thank you guys so much who always message me on instagram and say that i inspired you or you guys see my business videos that's like i said all i ever wanted to do was help inspire keep messaging me i'm going to keep replying as much as i can thank you so much for watching um when you quit your job or if you have quit your job or you plan on it or you have any questions about it message me below i can even do a story time on how i quit it was ghetto one job how i quit one job and now i got fired from the other anyway um comment below and tell me your thoughts what you want to do and you know how you plan on quitting if you want to quit why you feel like you haven't quit i want to hear from you um thank you guys so much for watching again and i will see you in my next video make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe subscribe see you in my next video if you um love this hair or if you just have any questions i'm wearing this hair called wear your inner confidence yes it stands for everything that i speak of um it came with this cute little bonnet really soft on your edges stays on for a really long time and it came with this cute little bag talk about branding for anyone that again you look into making your out your income outside of a nine to five there you go um but yeah it came with that it came with a nice little head scarf too. I haven't used it yet just because this bond has been doing it. But talk about branding. They got their logo everywhere. Check them out. Again, it's called Wear Your Inner Confidence. And I will have all their handles listed below. Check them out. And even ask her how she got started. Okay? It's a business. There's so much money out there for everybody. So, it's all for now.